Hello friends, welcome back. And then it will simply call this method respond to request. It will send our current request uh, class object, current route handler, which will have a callback and whether it's an error or not. And then in this method, you can see the rest request before a callback. So if you want to filter the response before executing any rest API callbacks that you can do it here. And if it's not uh, uh, respond like, the filter filter response is not an wp error class and if it's not empty then it will uh, the permission callback is not empty then it will simply check and it will simply call that uh, method and then check whether the permission has been there or not and then um, return that uh, filtered output okay else it will go through the uh, default callback which uh, callback function which is uh, registered and uh, it will simply raise the dispatch request here. Okay, so uh, allow a plugins to override uh, dispatching the request. So you can use this filter for whether you want to uh, return the custom uh, response instead of executing the default callback function, and then you can filter this as well. And if it's uh, null, then simply it will register execute the uh, default callback function, and whatever the response are there it will simply call this another filter raise request after callbacks and then simply it will uh, uh, raise unsure the response and if it's error then error to response else it will call the raise unsure response which will make sure that the current response is uh, the object of the wp raise response okay and then it will simply set the match rule and match handler and it will re uh, return the response okay so here whatever the callback function we are registered for our routes or for our endpoints will be called here and here it will check the permission callback so this permission callback uh, we have to pass when we register the raised route okay so we will talk we will also uh, see uh, we will see an example of this permission callback as well in upcoming videos okay so yeah uh, from here uh, our respond to uh, pass then it will filter the rest post dispatch okay filter and it will envelope the response if like we have seen that envelope a global parameter right which will include the body header and the status and uh, other few headers data into the uh, in the response itself right so that it, if it's the if it's an if that argument has been passed then this function will be executed else it will simply return the new response okay uh, if it's not okay and simply return it um, and from where this callback function so we have to go back okay no this not uh, okay my bad so here this is the respond to request and it will simply return the data we have checked the different function okay dispatch and uh, so request so this method needs to be called from the sir request okay so here in this method um, here the dispatch and then it will make sure again to whether it's a wp race response uh, class object or not and then it will simply here you can call this race post dispatch here so previously uh, we have seen that function which is the v1 function and this is the v this is the actual one we and previous one is the older older version of the v1 that that function used for the v1 uh, first version of the rest api okay and this is the uh, for the v2 so rest uh, this filter will be used if you want to still filter or want to apply something or modify the response then you can do it through this filter and and get headers set headers and then simply uh, serve the request and then response to data json encoding and everything it will do and simply return and return the results and uh, echo the results and once it's done then it will simply put a die statement that means we are okay so now we have seen that uh, it matches the request and everything so how about a callback function so for example here uh, for the uh, for the post for this endpoint we are seeing the list of the items right list of the post so if you go to the endpoints, um, go to the 
post controller this post controller into the register routes method okay um, you can see this methods for the get uh, so this method will be executed readable uh, which is the get method will be executed and this callback function there get items and this is the permission callback registered uh, for this base route and if you see here this will simply check whether it's a context is added and if it's a context is added and if the current user cannot do a po uh, edit the post then it will simply say rest forbidden context okay so simply if you go here and if you pass the context uh, context equal to edit and it will say sorry you are not allowed to edit the post in this post type okay even if it's a get method because we have passed the context edit okay and if it's not then it will simply return a true that means uh, we uh, the user can read the uh, uh, read the response or uh, have access to that rest api request and uh, this get items method because this is the callback function which will return the response of that rest api request okay so this get items method will be executed with the and it will have this request class object uh, argument and it will check whether have order by and all the informations uh, to which is which can be passed to the wp query okay um, then it will do a it will perform some other things like modifying the data update like preparing the responses uh, and everything or preparing the query text query meta query everything and then it will also uh, call this filter apply this filter race post query race page query race attachment query so you can use this dynamic filter based on the post type to change or to filter the wp query arguments okay so another filter we came to know okay so this filter you can use okay and um, then the wp query will be uh, class will be created object will be created perform the query and then once we have the result we will just checking the permissions and everything prepared item for the response and if all things done then simply uh, and also set the headers total and total pages which we have seen already and then simply return the response so in this response is the class of the uh, wp rest uh, wp sorry rest uh, response class okay and we have used this rest ensure uh, response here so this way uh, entire REST API request um, uh, execution workflow looks like and how this uh, like how the uh, REST server class in uh, identify the request, pass the request, match the rule set, and based on that set the request pair, requested data like body or the extra parameters or any other data to the REST request class um then make uh, then execute a callback function which is registered for that rest route and the endpoint and that callback function will also check the permission whether that permission do have or not a user do have permission or not and then simply it will perform the like prepare the response fetching the data and everything based on that rest api request and it will simply return the rest response class object with the all the response and that will be uh, response will be done sent to the user okay so uh, this way uh, this but like this is the like basic uh, execution workflow looks like for the rest api request okay and through that by going by doing this uh, we also came to know about like we have learned about more filters and actions like uh, authentication errors for for to, to disable the rest api um, then there are uh, other filters are there which we can use to modify the response right to hijack the rest api request if in its need to or for some other some use cases currently i'm i couldn't remember any use cases right now but yeah so but having knowledge of that actions and filters and everything would make easy for the developers uh to 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 use the rest api in better way and you and implement some of the custom functionality using the rest api right so yeah that's all about it so after watching this video you can go through you can try it out some for other rest api uh, endpoints like uh, fetching this single so if i pass it here then it will simply return the single post object then how this looks like how this execution workflow looks like you can also try it out some other 
REST API routes and endpoints, the default endpoint for TOMS, taxonomies, um, there are other users, post types, post statuses and everything. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's all about uh, uh, REST API uh, endpoint classes and the execution workflow. And in the next video, um, we will see about extending the REST API, how we can modify the REST API response or add the new fields, creating the custom endpoints and a few other things, right? So yeah, uh, till then you can go through that uh, WordPress code base and try to understand how things working, okay? And you will, uh, you will know all the filters and actions and you may have some use cases where you can use that one, okay? So yeah, um, that's all about it. Um, yeah, see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Jai Verpes. -bye.